all right guys welcome back to the next video on the channel and today we're going to be going over the fevian forms of thunderous landers and tornadoes counters for raids as they are coming back to pokemon go very shortly um and then in the next couple of episodes we'll be looking over the um ultra beasts that will be out for i think it's a few days so we'll definitely go over them in the next one as they are in different regions so they will probably be one video so Let's look at Tornadoes first and what is the best counters for this Pokemon. So it is weak to rock type Pokemon and as you can see there it is predominantly rock types for the top four. And then you're looking at electric for the other three. Now it says here the best Pokemon for rock types is Shadow Rampardos. So if you did find any Shadow Cranidos this is the best time to use them if you got rid of Frustration. So we'd have Smackdown and Rock Slide. Then for your Mega, you could use Mega Diancie with Rock Throw and Rock Side, or you can use Mega Rayquaza with Dragon Tail and Dragon Ascent. Basically, Rayquaza is a weird one you can put into near enough every single counters because it ups the power of every single Pokemon in the raid, never mind just a single typing. And then if you have the additional typing, it gets even more power boost on top. So Mega Rayquaza can be used in most scenarios. However, if you want that definitive Rock type, go for Mega Diancie, or you've got Mega Aerodactyl, things like that. Mega Tyranitar, actually, that isn't on here, um, which I thought would have been quite high, potentially near the top. So that would definitely be one of my picks. I'd probably go with um, Mega Tyranitar with Rock Slide and Smackdown, I think it is. Then you've got, obviously, Shadow of Empardos. If you don't have Shadow of Empardos or Shadow of Rapiria, you could always go with normal Rhyperia, normal Vampardos, and then also, um, what's another good rock type you could use? I'd say just Tyranitar in general. The really good Pokemon Tyranitar is quite versatile because it is one of the best in dark types and also rock type. Um, so, for this raid, you'll be looking at a group size of at least three trainers. And if you can potentially get up to between four and five, that is the easiest way of taking this Pokemon down with the least amount of people. But if you get eight people in your raid, you are set to go. It should be a relatively easy raid for that one. Um, but it says here, like, if we go through, Mega Tyranitar is number nine, which I, I can't see that being the case. Maybe it's this move set, but maybe it isn't great for this one. So maybe that's the reason why it's not here, whereas Mega Diancie does have a bit more power. But I'd still go with Mega, Mega Tyranitar as it was a lot easier to um, get a few of, especially if you already had a really good um, Tyranitar, 100%. Always perfect to go for. Now let's move on to Thunderous, which I do think should have near enough the same counters. Yeah. So in this one for Thunderous, you are looking at Shadow Rampardos, Shadow Viperia. For some reason Shadow Mamoswine's there. I'm guessing that's for the um, flying, I think, aspect of it. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, electric flying. So having that ice type would be good. However, you're not going to utilize your Megas as well. If you do go for the Mega Mamoswine, Mega Mamoswine, Shadow Mamoswine, sorry. Um, so I would use the same team here as you did for the Foot Tornadus. I'd have Mega Tyranitar as your number one. And then I'd have either Rampardos or Shadow Rampardos. And also Shadow Rhyperia or Rhyperia as the next couple of Pokemon. Obviously you won't be able to have Mega Tyranitar and Mega Dancy in the same team. But having your Rock types ready for both would be a really good play here. Now moving on to the Pokemon that should have a bit of a different counters. Because um, I believe the teams are the same for all. So you are looking at around 4 to 5 to make it a bit easier for yourselves. And get done in the timer. Or 8 plus to be easily done with the raid. Now Landorus I believe is ice type predominantly. Yeah. So this is the easier one of the choice. Because Shadow Mouse has been out along for a long time now. Galarian Standard Dalmatan has been out recently. I mean, even just this recent ice event had lots of them. So you should have enough candy now to evolve some and also get a good moveset on them. Then you've also got normal Mamoswine. You've got Mega Glalie, Baxcalibur, if you were lucky enough to get enough candy for it. 
So the only thing that's missing here is a good Mega. Mega Glalie obviously is there and it is an okay Mega. But Ice types don't really have a great Mega set. So I definitely go with Glalie for this one just to give that power boost to Ice type Pokemon if everyone is going in with that. And then obviously having some Shadow Mama Swine, Shadow Weaviles, and then if you don't have them, definitely stick to the Glarian Darmanitan, as there is a lot of them out there. Even now, I think the event actually ended about 15 minutes ago, but if you were using a Gotcha or anything like that, you should have caught many of them. Now, same thing here, you are actually looking at a 4 to 5 to make it easier, rather than a 3 to 4, but you can do it as a duo. And then also looking at 7 plus to make it relatively easy on your party. Um, as you can see here, you've you've got Mega Bomb Snow, but that's even further down. And you've got Mega Gardevoir, etc. So for me, Mega Glalie is your number one. And then move on to your Mammoth Swines, your Bats Calibers, your Darmanitan, things like that. Just to make it a relatively easy raid for yourselves. Um... But that is where this video is going to end. Thank you all for watching this video. We are getting closer to the new year and there is some big things coming for the channel. I think I did actually upload one by accident. So if you do check out the channel, you will see a difference. Um, we'll do a video on that over the new year. So thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you are going to be doing, like I said, these raids. If this was helpful, let me know any ways you'd like me to improve the videos in the future. And also subscribe if you are new and I'll speak to you all in the next one.